one Major League Baseball player, Miles, what would you be? Probably a baseball coach. Coach? Yeah. Okay, let's take baseball out of the equation. Okay, baseball out of the equation. Uh, probably something to do, maybe like a fishing charter, like a charter fisherman. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So is that your perfect off day on a boat fishing? Yeah, I wouldn't be too mad about that. I like being on the water and uh, being on my boat. What do you fish for? Uh, just inshore stuff like snook, trout, redfish. Uh, yeah. Just... Have you ever deep seed or no? I do, but I get I get seasick pretty pretty easily. Oh. So if it's semi rough, I won't even I won't mess with it. Yeah. Have you spent any time on Lake Erie fishing? I have not. Have Perch not. and walleye are great. Okay. Like you can slam if it's right. And they're right. Yeah, right. I've heard. I've heard. It's I know like, Ghost Anthony Ghost likes to go, so I'll have to get a get a day with him out there one strongly day. Strongly encourage it. Yeah. Especially we'll if they're running and they're and I mean it's, right. it's an activity. You you can actually. Oh, I, it's like a workout. You For know, sure. You just constantly. I'll I'll get out there one day. Before. Good. I strongly strongly encourage it. Um, who's the funniest player on the team? Man. Uh. Funniest player. We got a lot of clowns in there. I'll tell you. You do that. have a lot of clowns. And if I ask ten guys that, I'll probably get ten different answers. Man. We'll go Josh Naylor. I like Josh. Josh brings the energy. He's got he's got good vibes, and uh, he'll he'll let the boys he'll he'll let them hear it about some. He'll chirp them and yeah, bring some good jokes around. So I like Josh for it. I'm guessing that Tito's the funniest coach, but I could be wrong. Funniest coach? Yeah, Tito. Tito. He picks on Barney a good amount. So I've, I've seen Barney I've with like 30 different haircuts at this point. And I, I feel bad for him at this point. Why? What's going on? They're man. Those two are like they're they're brothers. I mean. I don't, I've never seen Barney get, t I mean, Tito, I guess, has no hair to cut, but <laughs> Barney's losing all of his hair different ways, man. Sideways, <laughs> on the chest, on the back, so he likes to, to likes to wear Barney out a good bit. Pretty funny. Uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Favorite sub, math. Least favorite? Reading. That's been the predominant <laughs> number one. I mean, like, yeah. I don't even know. I think, I think Eli said history sucked. <laughs> he was bad at history. Who has better hair? Who has the best hair on the team? Is it James or Eli, or maybe someone else? Because Naylor's got a lot of sound going on. Yeah, uh, let me think about that. I kind of like T Max here. Yeah. He's got the bleach blonde going on. Now we got Roman Quinn. He's got the blonde coming in. So that's right. You guys have Colossae like is pretty good. He's got the blue, the blue dread. So it's unique. Yeah. I, lots of good, know, lots of good hair out there. Now that you mention it, I don't know that. And, I don't know there's a team in baseball that you've got good lettuce, man. I don't know that there's any a team in baseball that's got the hair game that the Guardians have. Yeah, we got some good hair. Uh, Quan could use a comb. I actually had my buddy, <laughs> my buddy actually bought him a comb this offseason, sent it to Cleveland, so he actually told me he got that. It's the first one he's ever owned. He hasn't used it yet, so yeah, trying to get him to use the comb. but Par he, for the course. He's bottom three for sure. Uh, if uh, What's your ideal, do you golf? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not great. I don't, yeah. I'm just out there to hang out with the boys, yeah. but so I'll go. You could pick your ideal golf foursome, dead or alive. Anybody, actors, musicians, athletes from another sport. Who's, who's your, who's rounding out your foursome? Wow. Is this to win or just have a good day? Have a good time. Forget good winning. Time? Yeah. Just, you're out there to learn, laugh. <sighs> um... I'll take Quan as number one. We'll take Quan. Wow. Uh, just because I'm going to chirp. I don't think he's a good golfer. So I, yeah. think, I think I'll be able to wear him out. Uh, <laughs> two, I'm going to need Naylor to, we're going to gang up on Quan. So that's my two. And then I need two like really big celebrities. Mm. Man, it's a tough one. I'll go Adam Sandler. I think that'd be a good one. Nice. Some good comedy out there. Got to get two funny guys. Maybe we'll go Conor McGregor. Oh wow! Just a strange four. That'd be a great. Well, that's five, but I'll uh, I'll that's take fine. those. Yeah, we'll get we'll make the exemption for yeah. you. Maybe what's, we'll kick Quan out. We'll what's your favorite Kwan. movie? Is it an Adam Sandler movie or is something? Favorite else? movie? Mmm, I don't know. I'm not a big. I'd probably say The Town. Oh yeah, that was Town. good. The Solid one, movie. Fenway was in that. Yep, right? Yep, Fenway was in there. The Town's yeah. a good movie. Yeah. That was a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild. Very um, wild. I, when they were. When I was watching, I'm like, did they shoot up Fenway? I don't remember yeah, nah, shooting up Fenway. No, nah, yeah, I don't think they did. Yeah, but it was. It looked like they did. Right, right, I mean, right. It was really cool. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Um, what's your perfect vacation day during the season? Like when you get the rare off day, what's the the best way you can spend it? Um, hmm. Somewhere near the water. Yeah. Just somewhere to kind of go walk around, maybe get some food on the water, or just be able to. Go spend time on a beach or something like that. Favorite vacation spot? 
something to do with water. Maybe the keys, I like to get onto the keys every off season usually, so just seeing some nice clear water is always a good, good thing for the soul. It is good for you, absolutely. Um, favorite Cleveland eatery? Mmm, it's a tough one. Uh, Gosh, why I'm drawing a blank. Can I suggest the Marble Room? The Marble Room. That, that was it. I was gonna say the place downtown. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to marble top room. that. Yeah, it is. It, it's it's really great neat. building, like the old bank, right? It's an yeah. Old bank. Yeah. And you're just like, this is in Cleveland. Yeah. No, that's Marble Room's definitely top top for me. Yeah. Very good. Uh, best thing about being a Major League Baseball player. Uh, I think just having the platform and just seeing like you know the way kids kind of look up to us and you know the people. How I mean, I don't like them to think we're kind of different than everyone else, but. Um, I feel like, you know, in the off season, you can go around a little, like some high school kids and, you know, they look up to you and I feel like you can kind of help them learn the game or just kind of use that platform for good reasons. So I think at the end of the day, I mean, it's great. You know, the job we have, we love it. We wouldn't change it for anything, but there's so many kids that look up to us and I think just being able to help those guys, I think that's the coolest thing in the world. Worst thing about being a baseball player? I don't have a bad thing to say about it. Not even uh, Yankee fans? Nah, it's part part of the game, man. Part of the game. Uh, if you could say anything to Yankee fans, what what do you want them to know? Anything to Yankees fans? I mean, I don't I don't hate them. I think I mean a little little respect would go a long ways. But uh, you know, I don't I don't mean any harm to them or anything like that. But just go watch a baseball game, enjoy your team. I mean, they got a great team. They they got a lot to look forward to. Um, just uh, maybe keep some beer bottles on the field. That's it. Other than that, say what you want to me. Thanks, man. Yep.